Hey guys, how's it going? This is David from Nano Tanks Australia. So today what we're going to do is showcase to a practical on how to plant aquascaping tissue cultures from Pisces. Pisces actually does a really really nice array of uh, tissue cultures. Some of the varieties that they do have is Amanthus pelicoides or HC. They also have um, things like Monte Carlo. Uh, they've got Rikia, they've got Starogon Reapens, Rikia Grandiosa, Rotala Macandro Poles, uh, you know, Foscolopso Scandens, Alternantia Reniki, this should be the mini version, uh, Labella Caradinalis, um, and also Illy, Illichorus um, Archisicaris mini, or this is actually equivalent to the Bellum as well. Um, so they've got a lot of varieties, but you know, sometimes uh, varieties are quite um, hard to get and most of them um, become out of stock as well. We are going to uh, aquascape uh, this uh, tank right here. Quill um, Shrimp Set 19. These tanks do come with uh, this very, very nice um, uh, clip on light, so that one there. It comes with a heater similar to this, uh, not exactly this one, um, and it comes with one of the pet mini filters as well. In it, so this is the new master soil that we have around. Uh, for this type of tank, we have actually used this rock. This is called Ancient Stone. Is I'm going to wet this stone, and as you can see, if you wet it, it looks really, really nice. The layers really, really come out. Uh, we're going to use the HC. Uh, a lot of people, when they use HC, if you want that instant uh, cupping effect, use as much of it as possible rather than less. So what we're going to do is we're going to basically put it in place and what we're going to do is one at one of the corners we are going to use the styrodyne reapens we're going to use the macandra pole in the other side because we want to have that instant effect we're going to actually have another uh, hc over here another thing that we're going to do as well is that we are going to dry start this tank okay we've, we know roughly where it is the only real tools that i recommend or I encourage you it's just get a forceps. So the very very first thing we're going to do is uh, get the foreground plants. The biggest problem that people see when they see these um, tissue cultures is they see all these gel. Pick it up, just pluck the whole thing inside the tank. Problem is when you do that, this gel is full of nutrients and what this gel will do is that it will cause a lot of algae issues in your tank if you leave it in there. And what we advise people to do is scrape off as much of the gel as possible so you just get the plant and it's root and we just leave it as that and i'm going to actually be rinsing this off in some water the best things i love about these plants no issues with algae or pest snails so here you go you've got uh, some um, a bucket of water um, and so what we're going to do is we're just going to dip the uh, plants in and just slowly rinse it off so there you go guys so that washing process to get as much of the gel off as possible now, a lot of people they like to rip it apart uh, but for me instant feel I'd rather just pluck it on uh, wherever problem with this is that it is a little dry so we're going to wet this a little bit so what we're going to do is we're just going to wet the tank so there you go guys so what we've done here is that we've just wetted the soil as much as possible ancient stone looks really really nice uh, when it's underwater or when it's wet master soil looks really really nice as well it goes to nice black dark color so what we're going to do is we are just going to pop it in since we're going to do a dry start method there's no real need for us to really push it down the foreground plants in place how we're going to plant this like a lot of the gel that's already on it we should come off what we're going to do with this so we're going to shove it down here put in the styrogyne ribbons don't have to necessarily wash it because it should come off being a tissue culture there shouldn't be any issues with nails what we're going to do once again 
is that we're going to go really deep just as a bit of a rundown the the scape is more or less done now we are not going to fill the tank up we're doing a dry start uh the principles of a dry start is like a simulation of rain i'll use the a marker this is the dry start do is after week one we're going to do it at seven days each week we are going to increase the water level by roughly one inch uh, plus heater okay so with the lid on and everything like that the tank really looks quite nice already all i say to those people who haven't aquascape before just give it a go it is quite easy and a lot of people uh, unfortunately do overthink it so there you go guys that's actually how we do the tissue cultures and planting tissue cultures in the shop hopefully this uh, video has been beneficial uh, if you're watching us on youtube i uh, would love you to like and subscribe and hit that notification bell and hopefully see you uh, online or at the shop very very soon anyway have a great day you guys bye for now